Gus has made something to help him decide what goal to do next. Is this spin like this? And that's a pencil. Yeah, that's <clears throat> cute, isn't it? <clears throat> oh, English it is, huh? So that's what I'm going to do now. Today is herb preparation day, so Judah is still learning about alfalfa. So he's going to eat these sprouts that he started last week. Do I just eat seeds? <laughs> yeah, it's not going to hurt you. Um, if you if we do them in a special container, then the seeds are all at the bottom, but ours are going to be mixed up. You can kind of try to rinse them if you want, like stick them in the strainer and try to rinse them out. So I'm just going to rinse them out with water and see. Got a little firmer than that. <laughs> Ash is making fire water for flu. <laughs> yes, I'm, not I'm going making it a alfalfa sandwich. sandwich. It smells really bad. Okay, yeah, this is it. what? What is it? Water, vinegar, apple cider vinegar, and cayenne, cayenne and salt. Yes. It's yeah, it smells like. It's sodium chloride, not salt. <laughs> These things are so cold. <laughs> so Those turn out so nice, Judah. Now I'm gonna make a sandwich out of them. You might want to put like, do you like any lunch meat or anything like that on it? No, bro, this is Generally, so people weird. eat it with like mayonnaise and you know. I don't know how I like it anyway, so I don't know. You might just try them without making a sandwich, then just eat them. What's the name of little bite. I think they taste like anything. Yeah, like a little salad, have a ranch dressing I mean, on it. It tastes like salad. Mm -hmm. All right. It's the healthiest thing you've ever ate. Oh, no. The gummy worms I had yesterday were the healthiest thing I've ever ate. And you can sprout all sorts of seeds. It doesn't have to be alfalfa. It can be any kind of seed. Eat a Justice is making something that from his book. He's they're all doing a okay, different book, so it. he's doing this one. So he's gonna make a colic tincture. We'll have it in case Hannah ever needs it. <laughs> so his is gonna be chamomile, catnip, fennel, dill, and fenugreek. Yeah, we got all those downstairs. One part means that whatever measurement you use like a tablespoon or an ounce or whatever you use one of those and then for the other ones that are half you do half an ounce so if you did an ounce you do one ounce of chamomile and half of an ounce of fennel i can't have a vegan sandwich or it could be one teaspoon of catnip or chamomile and half a teaspoon of fennel yep okay so usually it's by weight but it's not that big of a deal if you just okay, use so regular just measuring to things measure with there, that's gonna be better. This is a half of the <laughs> cup, so. Okay, there now it's all the way down. I found this one, it's a half of a cup, so what that. That's gonna make, make a lot of tincture. I think probably yeah. just like a tablespoon would be enough to make a little tincture. This will be no. like that. Yeah, we should not do that. Thomas wants me to know he's gonna be in the background of all that filming, calling out for help and me ignoring him. <laughs> Look at his healthy thing. That's not what I was saying. I was saying I remember your video, but being only. <laughs> but he found his book. He's good now. Um, we're doing YouTube. I was after her Like spaghetti sauce <laughs> that was mixing water. <laughs> he says he's not gonna try it out, but it's for flu. You're supposed to take a spoonful every hour when you're sick with the flu. If anyone wants to, else wants to have a beef, I would almost would not do it to save my life, but if it was a really bad flu, then it would need to save my life. But I'm not gonna eat it if I just have a regular flu. <laughs> Happy sitting there with me, and her mom. 
I'm just sitting down here to do school with Miss Sophia and it's already lunchtime, but I decided until I get all my old videos edited, I'm gonna do those, do a video first thing in the morning and push everything back behind so I can get caught back up on that and get some stuff done with the, my channel. How are you feeling? I'm just starting off so Yeah, but don't use anything metal to cook with that one. Use a wooden spoon. School? <laughs> Bye bye, Leonardo. Papa and Mama Lizard had allowed Leonardo Lizard to invite his little lizard pals to play one last time before they left on vacation. Page two. We're going to Circle L Ranch, said Papa Lizard. The Circle L Ranch is the ranch where Uncle Louis Lobster is the foreman. Uncle Louis Lobster runs the ranch. Okay, now draw a line from the mouse to the cheese and do not touch the lines. Very good. Now wag me. Now wags to his dog house. This is going to be the dance. No. And the goldfish to the goldfish bowl. Oh, that one got a little too fast there, didn't you? Yeah. Okay, now let's turn to page two. Oh, page two is the coloring page. You get to color Leonardo Lizard. Yay. Did he fall down or did he just lay back down? Asher has some shoveling to do, but I'm gonna drop him off here to go to that house because I need to go to the post office and that street up there where those cars are. Sometimes when I stop at that stop sign, I can't get going again, and then I have to back all the way down the street, so I'm just leaving them here. I'm gonna go get the mail. We also made invoices for Asher's customers so that they could pay for his shoveling services. Somebody just said on your birthday video that if you put on that rainbow dash hat and squeeze the balls on the strings, that makes the wings flap. So you need to go try it on and see if it works. Okay, so let's try it. Oh, right here. <laughs> here. <laughs> 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 I want to try. I want to try. Can I try? Can I try? Uh, that's silly. Can I, can I try? Can I try? It's Sophia's. Can I try it? <laughs> <laughs> we learned from somebody on YouTube that her hat is does something funny. What? Here. We'll show him. Oh. <laughs> It reminds me of Dumbo. Yeah. yeah. Name.
It's not opening. Maybe you just need to lay it flatter. You should have it in your math notebook in there. Sally was drawing and let's see how it came out. That turned out super good, didn't it? I don't think you like him too much, but as soon as you threw it, you got scared of playing. <laughs> well, maybe he'll find him now after he comes Mommy, down. Mommy, I'm going to give him a tablet. cute deer? Yeah. Yeah, I think, I'm not sure there's something wrong with his leg maybe or something. He seems like he's not jumping very good. Behind the door, to the door, or into the room? Mm, is he behind the door? Okay. Over the rock, on the rock, or in the rock? Oh, okay. At the nest, by the nest, or on the nest? Outside the tree or before the tree? Mommy. They probably use a snowblower. It looks, looks like, like somebody plowed it. Do you want you to come in? Okay. <laughs> Then you are gonna go in our are you gonna help? No. Okay, well then I think that's all she does. Just this big piece is all that you need. Maybe. And then there's there's justice. <laughs> that's I don't know what the least really was. Because it's just the same person. It's nearly five o'clock and I've got my video edited. I am determined to get all my old videos done. So I got that one done. I got a late start this morning. Then I've had company today. Then we had lots of little errands to do out for other people that needed things done. And did a little bit of banking stuff. And now me and Sophia are finally gonna sit down and do her schoolwork. So she is ready for the day. <laughs> He got full. Did he? That's why we're dumping. Really? Yeah, but this one he had a dump. Okay, we're gonna do start on page. Um. I know. 
Page one again? No. We already did that. We're on, I'm on the wrong day. Page three. The Lizard family traveled by locomotive train for several hours. The locomotive traveled over the rails through all the hills to the wild plains. The Circle L Ranch was way out on the wild plains. At last, the train chugged to a stop. All off for the Circle L Ranch, called the light-hearted conductor. It looks weird, Mom. Okay, we're going to start this again. It is now 20 till 6. I forgot to buy lace for the L's. So we cut out the lizards. And then, Sophia got her page cut out. Then, Daddy and Thomas were leaving to go play magic tonight, and Thomas showed me his arm had uh, some sort of spider bite or something on it, and it's hugely swollen and hot. That concerned me, so I made up some herb stuff to put on that before he left. Judah also had got bit on the side of the head, I'm assuming by the same little critter, so I went ahead and put some on him too, just to make sure they're both okay. And then Tom's going to buy a bug bomb so we can get rid of whatever it is that's munching on them. But we haven't got very far in our school stuff here, so it's going to be past dinner time before we even finish school today. Mom, it's already dinner time. Yeah, it is. How did this happen? It's night time. I know. It's dark outside, isn't it? Yeah, so no more playing. Because we're scared of the dog, right? Are you? Okay, I'm going to finish peeling the lizards off. You can start with these two that yeah. I already got done, and then we'll get oh, this finished. You found a bottle? It was in the tie one. Ooh. Now don't touch this because this is sticky. Silly goose. Yeah. Now we can play for this. Are you all done with it? Yeah. You want to keep these other guys? What about yeah. these two? <gasps> oh, yeah. You've got like a whole lizard family to play with now. Okay. Stop it, Mom. The... <gasps> you messed it up. Sorry. Naughty Mom. <laughs> say okay. the pictures of the things that have a Naughty old... Mom. That's Naughty. right. We're going to say the names of the pictures Naughty. in row one. What are they? We have lace. Uh, lace. Is it lace? Lemon. Lemon. And Stop. That's right. So With your it. orange marker, circle the old sound pictures. Help. I don't think that Hello Kitty can go in there, Sugo. Yes, he did. You just have to there. set him on there. Scary, scary. The water's on. Hello Kitty. Oh no, I need them to Okay, roll, roll two. I was sobbing, so I used one no, of the boom. rice bags from All right, Aldi circle the ones that begin with the bowl. And salt and pepper, and it was a great Guess snack for me at that moment. These are the little candy. hand wraps, and I actually, I like these. When I have them, I use them. So, I don't think you all mind if this grocery is in the room with a little chip. Okay, row three. How is Jim Rowe eating now, Ramble? Uh, some million dollar product. I love using this peanut butter powder in then smoothies. This is another life Yep, page one. It's got five then parts to really subtract um, the three then you do the this. fiber. So I did my right. scoop of the swans and whey protein <gasps> powder. I did some. All right. I'm making it here. Meow, 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 meow. Go ahead and have it <laughs> She colored here. the curved so road and the straight so road, so and we learned about circles and squares again, and now we're done. So I she, know how to make yep. So you can put your stuff away and we finished. What is up with that kid? She keeps telling me there's a frog here, but I think she's just having some bad manners today. Convenience items that I feel that I need right now, I guess. I peeled it off the side for some to be easier. You can already see that it's not as swollen as it was. Oh, the thing broke. <laughs> it looks like a chunk of poop. 
<laughs> Don't laugh and pull the bandaid. <laughs> That was me. <laughs> All right, let's see both your arms together so I can compare. Oh, of course. I, is it better or not? Yeah, I think it is. What? But it is, I think, maybe still, yeah, it still is somewhat swollen, though. It's better than it was, but not yeah. normal That's yet. my arm's bent, like, this way. Yeah, we need to put more stuff on it because it's definitely got some swelling still. Was it squeaking? Asher, we'll do a bigger just... amount this time. What was that? <laughs> How'd it go? Good. I could have done it, but I didn't know if I couldn't because if they bought something, yeah, I wouldn't be able to. You need to back up. Well, next time you need to go, and then if you need help with something like that, you can come up and get one of us. God. You wonder what the Z is for? Mm. Oh, which animal it's gonna be? Yeah. Well, you'll find out when we get to that, won't you? Zebra! Haha, <laughs> you're right. Here you go. Strawberry vanilla? Yeah. Oh, okay. Today. <laughs> Leonardo Lizard and I were camping out in this lilac leaf tent tonight. <gasps> Lady Lily Lamb's large blue eyes opened wide. Oh my, I apologize for nibbling a snack right of your lilac leaf tent. There's quite a large hole, said Lady Lily Lamb seriously. Okay. Lemon. Mother is shopping for some lemons today. Why do they want lemons? I don't know. Maybe they're going to make some lemon pie. No, probably lemon juice. That could be too. All right. <laughs> Mother wants to choose only lemons that have a big L or a little L on them. Okay. With your yellow crayon, color the lemons that Mother will buy. Little big. Little big. Little. Little. I think you got them all. Okay, you may put your red English away, and then... Well, this one's the big L, and the, these are the little L's. And then you can get out blue science. Lot of birthdays in January. 
I never got to tell all of them happy birthday, but they know it. I was happy for them. Yep. You can try it. How old is she now? Seven months? Eight months. Eight months. Yep, she'll be nine months here at the end of the week. Tommy built some side rails for her bunk bed this weekend. Oh, so. yeah. Did you get it done now? He made the rails. I still have to cover them because they're not pretty. <laughs> so we're gonna, I'm gonna make a fabric cover for all of them. And then after that, we'll move her into it. So this is the longest we've ever had a baby sleep in our room with us. So I'm a little sad about her <laughs> moving out, but you know, I know it has to happen. I love it, it's to your mom. <laughs> When they took her, uh, let's see, Ken must have been the next one. I can't remember, but I remember when she was a crib she went. <laughs> Claudia said. Trying to make you feel guilty. She was good at that. <laughs> Claudia still sucks her fingers. Huh? Claudia still sucks her fingers like that too. Yeah. She does these two. And she just settles it in. And yeah. One day, I can't remember why, but she must have really sucked on them for a long time. And she got up and they were all wrinkly like like in, when you've been in the bath. It just looks two fingers. And I didn't realize at first, but she was upset that her fingers were dirty. And she got a wipe and she kept trying to wash them and they, it wouldn't come off. So that's when she came and showed me and I realized they were all wrinkled up from her second on them. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, that's terrible. Yeah, we got quite a bit over there. We've had a little deer that keeps hanging around in our garden. He just taking up housekeeping next to our rabbit hutch and eating out of our compost pile. I think he's got something wrong with his leg because it seems like he can't jump the fence. And, but then yesterday he had three friends over for a visit, so there was four of them out there for a little while. But it's the only time I've seen all those others. It feels too hot in here for you. It feels pretty warm to me. Hughes was here and Virginia Peterson. The people just said to stay in the room till while they find out what that alarm means, but I'm going to buckle her up in case we have to go out. Just came and told us that it was just a fire drill and all is well. I don't know what happened to the guy that was running this. He's gone. Oh, really? I like him, but uh, um, I saw him different times when I was out. Uh huh. He was very friendly, but next thing I know, he was gone. That happened suddenly. <laughs> uh, that doesn't feel very good.
didn't make sense at the time. <laughs> do you like it when Ashley sings to you? I'm gonna say today she looks like she's officially really feeling back to her old self. And she always purposely, I can tell, on her she just grabs things and puts it over and just drops it. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, in just a minute it's gonna turn green. Take a video after one. You doing it? Yeah, you were doing it. What was that? Yeah. I'm just walking. Oh, green! I can't run. <laughs> <laughs> keep going, keep going! Oh, it's back to yellow. Just walk again. The view is going crazy. Yeah. You're going to say red in a second. Yep, when it's red, that means you can stop and rest. Are they so silly? You like it? I've been continuing to make getting all of my old videos edited my top priority every day, which means I haven't got very much video of kids in school oh, at all. Man. And then, um, Sophia and I have been doing school much later than normal. It looks like Daddy just pulled up with something for Asher. Asher's buying a snowblower from someone so that he has it for his business. But mostly done. You got it just in time for when it's almost done. <laughs> Yep, Daddy got back with our car and the snowblower. Mommy, the snowblower out again. Did you? Yeah. Today is January 29th, Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> you marked that one off. Make me get distracted. Is it? Is it so enticing to hear that? <laughs> Oh. 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 Lizard reads. Here you go. Lamb. And. What? That's not right. <laughs> What's the other one that begins with all? Very good. Okay, turn it over. Are you eating my mail? <laughs> Alrighty, kid. He tied up. <laughs> We're all done, so you may put away yeah. your school things. I think somebody just got a little bit silly. 
Is that you? <laughs> there it is. It is very new, isn't it? Yeah, I don't think it's even ever really been used. So you can use that to blow snow at people. Oh, you just blow it at each other. <laughs> How does it work? Is it like scuba in the air? Yeah. Right. Scoops it and then it flies out this thing and blows it off whichever direction you turn it, I guess. You proud to be a snow blower owner? It's cold. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm gonna go back inside. Oh, okay. He got that for $75 from someone, a customer, one of Tom's customers whose dad passed away and they were trying to get rid of it because he just bought it and it was almost brand new and they didn't need it. Dog poop <laughs> stuck in there. Six 
everyone cheers. Then Bill is on the pole. He takes a few steps and goes. I know. Put my shoes. Yeah, can you put your fingers in and show how it goes? No. Here guys. Only got one tooth. What happened? Is he like a five year old losing his teeth? Oh, look at that little guy. Is that Puxatani Phil? This is what I mean. Bring it off. Oh, those are cute. She's been coming to the craft class on Wednesday afternoon. Hey, did you find, hey, wait, hey, did you find this tooth? All right, there you go. That's right, one and one third. Um, yeah, 1.33. Is that all the way the same? I don't know what to do because... Look, Mom, they are gonna fight. No, it would be 0. 0.1. Because 0. 0.1 would make five. Five of these, so that'd be one. Just No, I'm gonna do point one. I am gonna do point two. Don't do it. Don't say it, Don. Ten. Zero. One. Equals one. Yes, so that means. Uh, how do I do this? Um. No, it would be need to be 0.2. You're supposed to write out the problem on your paper. Yay. Sally, you need to make a new problem, buddy. Um, I, I didn't use this one. So, oh you need to write out the problem, buddy. X. Are you just doing one pawn? Yeah, but I changed the number to 4. Okay, Two so four. you need to write out the problem. X equals 4. Do we put them in this bag? I like how you squid. Get them in the no, there's a little ones here. Okay, so if x equals 4, how much does x need to be? Okay, we have 1. If they need to be balanced. Oh! Yes, yeah, right, so then you write 4 well, equals 4. I did this, but. Um, it's so, so is that correct? There you go, you found the right answer. So then you write six equals six. Okay. Is this right? Or should I, should I put this in my math? Okay, mom. Mm -hmm. Good job. Okay, so two X equals four. Okay, so two X equals four. So if we have two X's, or two things we don't know how much they weigh, but they have to both come out to four, how much does each one of them need to be? So if, we had, if they each weighed four, we'd have four plus, Four, eight. that would make eight. So would that be the same? No, that'd be too heavy, wouldn't it? You have to do five of them, yes. Yeah. So what should each one of them be? Four. I mean... We're all supposed to do five. No. One. If they're each five. one, we'd have one Near plus two. one. So that makes two. two. Does that equal four? No, nope, that wouldn't work either. But that would, oh, but two plus two would make four. So what two. If, so yeah, so let's try it here. If this is two and this one's two. It would make four. That's right. Look, okay. Is that right? There you go. But wait. But, but I, I know what, what my, my so we set up a new problem. So we have 12 and we're going to do 4. Okay, so how do we write that problem? And we're going to do that. Come on, I can dump off. What's wrong with that? That doesn't that's balance. Good. You're not figuring out 4 equals 12. You're figuring out 4 okay. times a number that we don't know mm. equals 12, which is why you need to write x. 4x equals 12. So then it's 3. 3, so then write 4 times 3 equals 12. I'm in. I 
second grade. Okay, now so try that out. Does that work? I did five. One. But so he did it. All right, there you go. So twelve okay. equals twelve. It's balanced. She so did. Okay, show me. Show me her baby. There you go. The whole time, this girl won't take a nap. Won't take one, will you? I guess mommy's gonna give up and hold her for a little bit. She doesn't like it. You don't like it? Don't want a nap? What do you? What do I you did do? all of this. Okay, this is the next one. Okay. Study number two.